The Rising of the Shield Hero, Volume 2, Chapter 31, Carrot and the Stick. Slave Trader! I march straight to the Slave Trader's tent first thing in the morning. What are you doing here so early in the morning, Hirosama? Your demon seal was a sham. Depending on your response, I might have my dangerous slave and demon here going a bit of a rampage, you see? Firo is hungry. Can I do that later? If you keep up that behavior, I'll turn you into breakfast instead. The demon seal that was placed on Firo didn't work as intended. Not only that, the option couldn't even be checked. Hmm? What do you mean about that? I then explained to the slave trader that w oh the slave trader. Mm. <laughs> I then explained to the slave trader about what happened this morning. It was sure it sure was rough. We somehow got Firo to calm down and had her changed to human form, and th from there we headed to the tent. Aftalia was hard enough, but Firo on top of that, having to constantly stay on watch to make sure they didn't do anything out of the ordinary was stressing indeed. It seems the entire it seems the Firo Real Queen can undo a normal demon seal. Yes, elaborate. You can't restrain a higher order demon with a normal demon seal. The grand prize of the lottery, the Kiryu, must have a special demon seal engraved. So you're saying a normal demon seal won't work on this thing? Yes. The bastard slave channel is happily jotting down this new discovery into some pocket notebook. So will you be giving me this special demon seal? Good gracious, that is outside the realm of our free services, yes. Uh, what did you say? As you would expect, this is not a cheap process, and doing so for free would place me in a rather difficult position. The cost is starting to weigh down too much on, the, my, on my end, you see. Damn. Looks like getting any more free services from him would be pretty hard from now on. Well, I guess I can't be helped considering all the damage I did. How much is it? As I look forward to Hirosama's future prospects, I will be taking a huge loss and price it at 200 silver coins. How does that sound? Shit, that's expensive. Could you please... By the way, the market price for this kind of service is 800 silver coins at the cheapest. I would not lie about this if I have much hopes placed for Hirosama. Ah, that was a heavy blow to my consciousness. Conscience. Consciousness. That's his consciousness. I accept my defeat, and so very reluctantly hand over 200 silver coins to the slave trader. If I find anything that you're... If I find that you're lying, I'll have my dangerous subordinates start a bloodbath, you hear? I understand indeed. Firo, who is in the form of Firo Real Queen, and looking around restlessly, was taken in by Raftalia, who was holding Firo's enormous wings. Stay right there, Firo. Why? If you do, I'll let you so eat something real tasty. Really? Yep. With her eyes gleaming, I had Firo stand still at the place that the slave trader had indicated. All right, if you're going to do you magic, now is the time. I gave the slave trader the signal. The slave trader nods his head as well, and twelve of his robe subordinates with their faces covered and invisible, uh, surrounding, covered and invisible, surrounded Firo. Faces, right, their faces are invisible. <laughs> Uh, then they poured some kind of medicine or other substance onto the floor, faced towards Firo, and began chanting their spell. The floor began to, shri to shrine, and a magic circle started to unfold with Firo at the center. I'm pretty sure you can hear the dogs barking, but I've had to redo this chapter like twice, so it fucking stays. <laughs> eh? What? What's going on? Bam! Bam! Firo tried to put up a resistance, but they was unable to do so as the magic circle enclosed in on her further. It hurts! Stop! Firo rampaged as she, was as she bears the pain from the demon seal's, re seal's renewal, and each time she slams against it, the magic circle shakes. Slave trader's subordinates let out a gra gasp of shock. Just in case, I had extra followers restraining her with magic, but for her to be able to move under such pressure, I feel what she will eventually become, yes. Now that I think about it, she's still only level 19. If she's already like this, how strong will she be when she's around level 70? I nod to the slave trader's words. Finally, the magic circle is fully engraved into Fyodor's abdomen and it becomes quiet. It's over, yes. In my view, there's a demon icon that looks like it had higher level commands than the one before. I promptly check the option labeled with listening to everything I say. Ha. Uh, ha. Uh, she heaves as she walks toward me. Master, that was mean. It hurts so much. As I wonder if there is a wicked smile placed on my face, I command Fido. First of all, turn to your human form. What? That hurts so much. I don't wanna. Give me something yummy to eat. Taking little heed from my command and demanding food as if she was taking me lightly, the demon sealed on Fido began to glow. Eh, no. What? Stop it, stop it! Fido, tr Fido fired some kind of spell at the demon seal, but this time the seal repelled it and the curse activated. It hurts! It hurts! It hurts! Fido crumbled to the floor in pain from the demon sealed. If you don't listen to what I say, it'll hurt even more. It hurts! It hurts! Ugh. She reluctantly turns to her human form. When she does so, the demon seal stops glowing. Yep, it looks like it worked properly this time. Good work, slave trader. Indeed, it is quite a powerful seal, so it won't be easily tampered with, yes. I walk stand, stand in front of the fallen Firo and announce, You yourself costed 100 silver coins, and following that, your demon, following that, your demon seal costed 200 silver coins. That's a total loss of 300 silver coins. You are going to have to pay me back by that much by listening to what I say. M master 
As Firo was having trouble getting up, I extend my hand. It sends pangs to my consciousness, having to say these kinds of things to a child who is so, so pure, but I want to at least have the funds to keep a roof over this self-indulgent kid. Listen to what I say. N no I see, I see. If you really don't want to listen to what I say, then I'll just sell you off to the scary man over there. <laughs> Firo seems to have finally understood her position as her face warped in fear. The slave trader that is looking at me with some expression that's both troubled yet happy. How much would she sell for? Let me see. She's rare, so dealing with her will be difficult, but 30 gold coins sounds like a price I could buy her for if I include that cost. Since she has a powerful demon seal engraved on her, she won't be able to re rebel anymore, and I can see quite a few ways to use her, yes. Damn slave trader, he deliberately lays down the price the moment after he says it'll be difficult to sell her. I don't actually know for sure, but if I hand Fido over to him, her life will probably be over. And now, Fido is looking at me with upturned eyes, looking absolutely terrified. This is tough. My good conscience that I thought had vanished is rolling back in full force here. However, depending on Fido's attitude, such a choice may really have to be made in the future. It can't be- I can't- if I can't be a nice Oni-chan, in regards to Raph, then I can't be a doting pet owner either. And so he says, So the next time you go into Tantrum, I won't be there to pick you up anymore. You'll probably be forced to drink some bitter medicine, then they'll poke around all over your body, and finally, you die. You'll die. Until finally, you die. N n no Firo screams out in dissent. Master, please don't hate Firo. Firo earnestly begs as she clings to my leg. Shit, this is hard. But I can't back down now. If you listen to me obediently, I won't hate you. Make sure you listen. Got that? Y yeah Good. Then we're staying at the inn. Absolutely do not turn back to your original form. This will, that will be our first promise. Okay! At Firo's beaming smile, whatever remnants of my good consciousness aches back in pain. Aches in pain. <laughs> well then, I also have to head over to the armorer today. When I look at Firo, I, clutch, I catch a glance at the slave trader who now has the most jubilant smile I've ever seen... Uh, I've seen... Uh, <laughs> I've seen him have on to date. I'm getting a shiver down my spine at your magnificent displays of fiendishness. You are most definitely the legendary shield hero. I have a feeling that something's wrong about what he's extolling for me. I don't know what that word means. But I'm not sure if I should voice a complaint here. And beside me, Raftalia had on a rather complicated expression. Now, Fumi-sama, that might have been a bit much. If I don't do this, then she won't listen to what I say. It was the same for you in the beginning, right? Raftalia nodded at my answer. Now that you mention it, that, that was the case, wasn't it? There are some things we can't let her indulge in, and some things we can't. We can't let her indulge in. I won't mention my true intents behind this statement, though. Carrot and the stick, I see. Yes. Slave trader, I wasn't talking to you. I And quit understanding my motives. I sure gave you quite a hard time. If that's how you feel, then please. I will prepare for you an easy-to-handle Firo Real ch chick to raise and... Uh, well, then, I have places in I need to be today, so if you can let me go, then... Uh, being able to not get swallowed up by my pace, I have the utmost respect for Hirosama's strong will, yes. With the conversation ending on that note, we left the tent. Yay! So now he has a uh, pretty, pretty girl with wings, uh, who's also a really powerful bird, under his complete control. Yay, shield hero. He's, I mean, he's a little scary, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to fuck with him. Uh, I wouldn't. It's, it's probably a bad idea.